Your brain is extremely powerful. Your thoughts inside of your head have power. And more importantly, if you're able to use your thinking and your decision making in a powerful way, you can create innovation and growth in your life. The question is, how do you do it? Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe, host of Answers Unleashed, seen on AnswersUnleashed.com, and the author of the Answers Unleashed educational science book series. In my second book, I identify a science theory that explains the power of your thoughts. Specifically, in my second book, Answers Unleashed, The Science of Unleashing Your Brain's Power. I speak about the Trier Brain Theory of Relativity. It's a science equation and theory to help you understand the power of your thinking. You see, you have power in your thoughts. If you can harness that power, you can create innovation and you can change this world. But you have to know how your thinking works. In my theory, I show you the science of how your thinking changes your life and how it creates innovation. In this short video, I'm going to provide a lecture, a science lecture, that will help you understand the basis of the Trier Brain Theory of Relativity as well as give you the science to let you know how powerful your brain works. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can see. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna look at the tree of brain theory of relativity. It is a science theory based on how we think. The Trier Brain Theory of Relativity says that thoughts contain and convert energy, and the brain has three forms of thinking with its own electromagnetic energy patterns that ignites growth and innovation. The theory is based on Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, gravitational waves, chaos theory math, neuroplasticity that talks about how our thoughts reshape our brain. And all together, this gives us the true brain theory of relativity. I am a mathematician. I use mathematics and science to solve our world's most pressing issues. From 1998 to 2007, I used mathematics and science to help launch 28 NASA space shuttle missions into space. If you remember the movie Hidden Figures, I am like a modern day hidden figure, if you will, and I use science and mathematics. At that time, I used it to launch rockets into space, and I also use it to describe how we think. Albert Einstein also was interested in describing phenomenon that was in space. I use the same mathematics to describe phenomenon in our brain, specifically how we think. Albert Einstein has a quote. He said, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality that you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. That's Albert Einstein. And I take that concept a farther for 2022. And I state, our thoughts contain energy, and our decisions direct this energy into the future that we want. Our decisions form a unique mathematical function that converts energy to match a new reality. This function is called the Trier Brain Theory of Relativity, as defined in my second book. 
The best math for us to learn is how to make our decisions count. This is called quantum deciding, as what's read in my latest book, my third book. Note, I'm not a neuroscientist or psychologist. I am a mathematician who explains energy principles relative to how human brains think and learn. I use mathematics and physics to explain new thinking for innovation and growth. The trigger brain, I call it the three-sided brain. It is what I call the brain. Instead of looking at the brain as two sides that psychologists usually look at, which is the left side and the right side, I look at the brain as having three sides. Tria, which is a meaning of three, and brain creates what I call the tria brain, the three-sided brain. It's three types of thinking. It's the left side, which is analytical and numerical, the right side, which is creative and expressive and the faith side, which is all the brain connections, the synapses, the dendrites, the nervous system, that gives us the innovative and intuitive side of the brain. This side of the brain finds answers and this side of the brain connects the analytical and the creative for innovation. If we look at a dendrite, now this is powerful. One dendrite is like this slice here. This dendrite is a place that houses information in the brain. The human brain has approximately 100 billion dendrites. One dendrite alone can house the entire information on the entire world wide web. We have a hundred billion of these dendrites in our brain. That leads us to believe that the human brain is far more powerful than any type of artificial intelligence, any type of robot, and any type of computer system that is seen because our brains house extensive amount of information. Scientists only understand 90% of what the brain is structured as but it doesn't comprehend 90% of how it operates. Our brains are extensive, powerful machinery. 90% of the brain's operation is still being modeled. The tree brain theory of relativity says that our thoughts contain energy and they convert energy. Specifically, your thoughts contain energy and convert energy. Energy within thoughts can be defined and measured. Brain energy has an equation and thoughts convert chaotic energy from chaotic situations and it reshapes the brain. Chaos math models this energy. We're gonna see this. The second aspect of this theory is your thoughts are inside of your brain and outside in an energy field around you. We're gonna see that thoughts rewire your brain and creates an energy field around you. These thoughts exist in various parts of the body in addition to being inside your head. And thoughts exist outside of the body as well. The tree of your brain faith sector, in which we're gonna see, this includes the nervous system, the spine, and it has electromagnetic energy flow that forms intuition and unleashes answers. The third part of this theory is that your decisions reshape your brain. Decisions, which I call fractal moments, take thoughts and direct the energy into three outcomes. Depressed thinking, which is a stalled death state in the type of theory, Personal growth and innovation, which is a, called a growth or success state. And the third is repeated lessons. This is what we call a looping state. Now, if we think about a thinking process, there's usually some sort of event in the real world that happens that we try to process. This is usually a chaotic event. 
This chaotic event has energy. Remember, Albert Einstein said that everything in life has energy. This energy from the event goes inside of our brain. The question is, what happens next? In my Tree of Brain Theory of Relativity, I speak about how your thoughts contain energy. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity is E equals MC squared. Remember, Albert Einstein said that everything in life, everything in the universe is energy. And if everything is energy, everything can be described through energy. Albert Einstein was able to determine that energy is equal to M, which is mass, times C, which is the speed of light, squared. I take Albert Einstein's theory of relativity and I use it to explain the energy in our brains. Remember, everything has energy. The tree brain theory of relativity has this equation. BE, which is the brain's energy, is equal to M times C squared, which is the mass times the speed of light squared. And we're going to see exactly what that means in a brain and a brain space. In 2016, two black holes collided in space and created the first ever recorded evidence that gravitational waves exist. These waves were first theorized by Albert Einstein as part of his general theory of relativity published in 1916. These gravitational waves pierce through all time and space and all matter. What was most important in 2016 is that this collision of two black holes proved Albert Einstein's theory was valid and that gravitational waves do exist, and they do exist when things collide, and they do exist within all bodies. All right. There's also such thing as chaos. Chaos is the process that creates a event, and it leads to a certain outcome. For example, in space, we have chaos. If you wanted to go to Mars or Jupiter or any other planet, you have to know that there's a chaotic system in space. You can't launch a vehicle and, in a straight line and go to a planet. Rather, you have to be on what we call a chaotic system. There are super highways in space that allows you to get to point A to point B, by a pathway. Some pathways are like super highways and they'll throw you into your environment and the gravitational force from the planet will pull you into a location. And there's other pathways where you'll be on that pathway and you'll stall. You won't have enough propellant and energy to get to your planet. The goal is to be on a pathway that allows you to go to your intended outcome. There's a chaotic system in space. Well, there's also a chaotic system in the brain. I'm going to define chaos for you mathematically in a way that's going to make sense so I don't uh, present you with equations but present you with a picture. Chaos mathematics says that there's an event that happens and you have pathways. Some pathways will lead to a state where you have growth and innovation. And some pathways will lead you to death, which is called a stalled state. And somewhere in between right here is a fractal. Depending on the direction that this fractal points will gear you towards success or gear you towards death in a stalled state. Depending on your path and that fractal location, you can either be put into a radius of success 
that allows you to get to your desired outcome, which is growth and innovation, or you have a radius of death. Once you get close enough to that, you are pulled into a stalled state where there is no growth or innovation. This happens in space, and this also happens in your brain. Identical to gravitational waves that happen in space, your brain, specifically what I call your tria brain, your three-sided brain, has waves. And these waves are directed by your thoughts. These waves are energy. Energy comes from your thoughts. Brain energy is equal to M times C squared. Your brain energy that translates itself into mass structures, which, which are inside the brain, as well as the speed of light squared, which represents the speed of the neuron's brain fire in milliseconds that are triggered by conscious awareness. So this equation represents the energy in your thoughts. Now, it's really interesting for us to understand the different types of energy that exist in our thinking. Painful memories have a type of energy. Neuroscientist Caroline Leaf hypothesized that when humans experience chaotic events, painful memories form dark masses in the brain with its own electromagnetic fields in the brain, and that creates emotional distress. I take Dr. Caroline Leaf's hypothesis, and I expand it with the true brain theory of relativity. I call these dark energy masses brain brink. And I explain that these masses collide and act like black holes in the brain. These collisions that happen in the mind have a signature energy like gravitational waves Albert Einstein defined in space. This energy can form new pathways for growth and innovation. And I explain it through this. It's a illustration. Brain brink are like the black holes in our brain. And so to represent that, I have these black circles. They're black, black holes. They have their own energy system where they, they pull in light like black holes. The brain is tasked to either plow through this energy field and get to the other side or go around it. Per my theory, the brain reshapes based on what it does to get through or around these masses. Now, these masses come from painful experiences that we've seen in the past. And the true brain, which is the right, left, and center parts of the brain, all have areas in our brain that require us to remove toxic thinking. This toxic thinking causes blockages in our brain. The application of the true brain theory of relativity states that chaos doesn't happen to you. Rather, chaos happens to give you the full energy to transform your life. I'll say that again. Chaos doesn't happen to you. Rather, chaos happens to give you the full energy to transform your life. In my theory, I explain a role of a thought. A thought takes energy from a chaotic situation and converts it to two different end states, either, either beneficial energy or undesired energy. Depending on the thought that you choose, you pick the outcome. Either your brain is going to reshape or it's going to stay in a stalled state where you have no answers. Thoughts convert energy into and out of your brain. This leads us to the second aspect of the true brain theory of relativity. Your thoughts are inside of your brain and within an energy field around you. Now I break this down by looking at a tree. 
You know how a tree has roots and it goes into the ground and into the earth? A tree has roots that extend into the earth. Your brain, according to my theory, has roots that extend into the body and the energy from those roots extend into a field outside of you. Like a tree has roots, your brain has roots that extend into your body. If we look at basic science, we see doctors understand the brain and understand the brain through the nervous system. Neurologists are able to determine which organs are functioning correctly, how the brain is operating relative to its organs. Neurologists are able to measure the type of energy based on how your brain is operating. Well, let's look at an even more basic example. If we consider a runner, if a runner thinks about running and then the runner goes outside and runs and then comes back, the runner is sweaty, exhausted. There's also heat coming from the runner's body. If you were to put a runner inside a dark room and look at the runner through an infrared light, you'll see an energy field around the runner. That is because energy from the nervous system is extending into a field outside of the person who has just ran. Your brain, whether you take action or not, has energy in it that extends through your body and through out a field around you. Based on your feelings and actions, you have different types of energy that comes out of you. And in my latest book, I speak about quantum deciding that shows that decisions also have energy and they direct your life with its own energy field around you as well. Your thoughts create an energy field around you. Now, your intuition is a type of thinking pattern that you have. And in my book, I explain that your intuition helps you see that you have options. The whole role of intuition is to help you instantly identify your options so you can pick the outcome that you want. The tree of brain system emits an electromagnetic energy that forms intuition. If you can think of the top of your head and the base of your spine like an orientation, it's like how the earth has a north and south pole. You have intuition. Your brain, nervous system, and the energy around you has an electromagnetic field. Your thoughts form a, an electromagnetic field field around you. I'm going to say this again. Your thoughts carry an electromagnetic field around you. So your thinking process has certain stages. You have a chaotic event that happens. There's energy from that event happens that goes into your brain. We've just seen that our thoughts convert the energy. The question is, now what? Now what happens in this thinking process? The most important part for us to realize is that we have decisions. Your decision, which I call a fractal moment, has different types of outcomes. This thinking process leads us to the third aspect of the Trier brain theory of relativity. Your decisions reshape your brain. Decisions pick the best path in your brain and in the real world. So your decisions literally reshape your brain from the inside out. And as your decisions reshape your brain, you then find the pathway, the trajectory to go to the outcome that you want. It's like traveling in space in your brain and in the real world simultaneously. Mindfulness is the study of becoming aware of your thoughts and using your thoughts to calm yourself and make decisions. Neuroscientist Dr. Jeffrey Swartz, who wrote the foreword of my book, explains that when we become aware, we reconnect the frontal brain lobe with the striatum, which allows us to end destructive habits. I take this concept further 
and I include it in the tree brain theory of relativity. And I explain that when we become conscious of our decisions, fear shuts off in our brain. It turns off and the frontal lobe connects with the striatum, allowing a person to create innovation. When you become conscious of your thinking, you can select your outcome and you do this with your decision making. So when your thought converts in energy, the next step is your fractal moment, which is your decision. You have different outcomes. The first outcome you can have is growth and innovation where you move forward. This is where you become conscious of thinking and choose new thinking for personal growth. The second decision is you can use distractions and you repeat the issue. Distractions and avoiding the resolution leads you to a looping state where you don't find the answer, but you just have to repeat it over and over again. We see this a lot with people who are very frustrated, can't find the answer to a situation, and it's very uh, hard. The third decision option is to Keep the old thinking and be in a stalled state. This is where all growth, all innovation dies, where someone becomes stalled and they can't move forward. The trick is to understand we have a moment in time where our decisions can pull us into one of these outcomes. We are pulled into a growth and innovation state if we are consciously making decisions for that outcome. If you realize any situation that you're in, you still have a choice for a particular outcome of growth and innovation. If you keep that in your mind, there's such thing as a success radius that will pull you to that particular outcome. Notice that you can still become distracted at times. You still may avoid making a, a resolution, but that isn't all the time. What you are focused on majority of the time is growth and innovation and moving forward. That focus in itself creates a success radius that pulls you into that particular outcome, opposed to the situation where you have a death radius, where you are pulled into becoming in a stalled state, where your distractions and avoiding the resolution actually hinders you and pulls you into a stalled state. And it's because you have kept your old thinking. And because of that, you have a death radius that pulls you into a stalled location. If you can remember the illustration of how we're in space and how we don't move forward, it's like becoming stalled in space and you can't go back and you can't move forward. You're literally stuck. So the trick is in this process, remember we have two different states, a success radius and a death radius, and that has three different outcomes. Your success radius and your death radius pulls you into an outcome based on your decisions. If you continuously focus on growth, innovation, and moving forward, your decision, which is a fractal moment, pulls you into that outcome. That decision, conscious decision of you will grow, you will have innovation, and you will move forward no matter what type of chaotic situation that is happening, literally plows through the dark parts of the brain, which I call brain brink, allows you to reshape your brain, and it gives you the pathway towards not only new neurons that fire in your brain, but it also gives you pathways in real life to find growth and innovation that are practical in real world settings. So if there's anything that you remember from this lecture is that when you become focused on your growth and innovation, that thinking reshapes your brain, provides a signal for positive help and pulls you into success. So you have to become focused on growth and innovation. That thinking reshapes your brain, provides a signal for positive help, and pulls you into success.
I hope that you have enjoyed this lecture. Visit AnswersUnleashed.com to watch more videos, educational videos based on science and this way of thinking, as well as find me on social media. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn at Olympia LaPointe, as well as check out my website, OlympiaLapointe.com. I hope that you have enjoyed this lecture. Let me take off my glasses now. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. This lecture is based on the tree brain theory of relativity that is from my second book, Answers Unleashed, The Science of Unleashing Your Brain's Power. And in it, I speak about the tree brain theory of relativity, where I show you the power of your thinking. Take this information with you. It is my pleasure to share science and breakthrough science with you. I am Olympia LaPointe. Check out more information on Answers Unleashed, and I will see you next time.